This is a meteor heading to Earth. And this is me using all my engineering skills to save humanity from extinction. And I'll be the first to admit that I severely underestimated this massive catastrophe. But to understand how we even got to the end of the world crisis, we need to go back exactly 24 hours ago when Mr. Beast suddenly called me while I was in the middle of a massive project. Yo, Mark, I thought you said the moon was safe. We just came back and we encountered alien life that alien life. Alien life. Alien life. Alien life. And with my curiosity peaked, I sent a rover to the moon to investigate possible alien life. However, to my utmost disappointment, the only life we found was this guy. Holy mother of poop! Is that a rover from Mark? Hey Mark! Save me! So with nothing else to do, it was time to send him back to Earth. But something else entered our atmosphere. Is that Carl? Mark! There's a meteor the size of Nolan's mom heading towards us! You gotta save us! Is this the end of the world, Mark? No, Jimmy. We'll be using science to destroy it. Starting first with this exploding baseball, packed with a special mechanism that includes a mini atom bomb that explodes upon impact. I then use all my force to throw it towards the meteor. The only problem is, I'm not the best pitcher. What kind of a throw is that, Mark? And with Jimmy screaming in panic, it was time to bring out the Orbeez Gatlin gun. With my vast experience of modified firearms, I combined the destructive power of this weapon with one trillion Orbeez. And without wasting any more time, I fired it away towards the meteor that, for some reason, looked like a butt. Nothing is really happening, Mark. And when all else failed, it was time to use the world's largest elephant toothpaste cannon. With a thousand times more chemicals added, I immediately launched it towards the butt-looking meteor, and as expected, it proved itself useful in saving humanity. No, Mark, look. Now I truly have nothing left. No, that's not true. You have one more weapon left. But the world is not ready for that yet. There will be no more world if you don't use it. You're right. And with that, it was time to bring out the Glitter Bomb 6.9. This special version of the Glitter Bomb has enough uranium and farts- Why? We don't, we have, don't have, time have time for, for an explanation. explanation! With no time left, I sent the Glitter Bomb towards the meteor as a last resort to save the Earth. Is it over, Mark? Yes, Jimmy! We did it! And I'm finally back. Ca Carl? J J Jimmy? Are you really back? Yes, Jimmy. Carl! Jimmy! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and if you want to know how Mr. Beast and Carl ended up in space, check this video right here. And for those of you who are interested in learning how I make these animations, I made a 5 part video series detailing my process and tools which you can find in projectcg.tv. It's a very unique platform where you can learn storyboarding and animation from industry professionals. Using my code RJ Animations, you can get 3 months free for an annual subscription. Check it out and I'll see you in the next one.